Today I read an interesting article in CNN saying that the Chaoyang district in Beijing was essentially locked down, that people couldn't go out, they were almost prisoners. Um, they didn't say it in these words, but they wrote basically two articles and what it came down to one is that people are basically prisoners because of lockdowns and the other one is that uh, Chaoyang district is locked down. Um, so I thought I'll take you on a ride. Um, so let me show you the perspective of the car. This is actually the Chaoyang district in Beijing. As you can see, we're not locked in. There's people walking on the roads. There's people driving on the roads. We're just uh, driving a circle in the neighborhood. And um, I'll show you how this uh, prison and horrible, brutal lockdown looks like in Beijing. <coughs> A bit under the weather, so please excuse my voice. Uh, people do wear masks. We've been doing a lot of COVID tests these days, so they provide them for free at the um, entrance of, of the compound. They have these test stations where everybody can get tested and it's free of charge and everybody's urged to do it. What you do have to do is when you go into uh, shopping centers or, or public buildings, you have to show that you have been tested. So that's this kind of voluntary yet not so voluntary. So they don't force you to do COVID tests. You can reject doing them, but you cannot participate in social life very much anymore if you reject doing them. So for, for Chinese, this is considered um, kind of voluntary. So, so you choose if you want to do it or not. But um, obviously 99% will choose to do it because otherwise they cannot go in shopping centers. And indeed the restaurants are closed. It's uh, today's the first working day after four or five days, I think it was five days uh, holiday, the May 1st Labor Day holiday. So here is what I just mentioned, the COVID test station. You see people here, not many people, most of them have done their test for today. Um, but it, it's very quick, you register with your name and um, then you get a swab in, in your mouth and not in your nose and the next day you have to result on your cell phone and that's the thing that you show when you go uh, any place that you have a negative test result. So it's really a small thing, um, it's definitely not brutal, it's definitely not uh, prison. Um, and, uh, yeah, as you see people on bicycles, people walking, um, we're driving by a supermarket next and uh, see if there are people there. I'm sure there are people there. And um, this is the place. There's always lots of people parking at the side of the road. That's not just people who go to the supermarket. That's also just uh, because Beijing is notorious for lack of parking space. So people park wherever there seems to be room. Uh, here's uh, the shopping entrance and there are some people, they're not masses, as mentioned it's a working day today and um, it's around 6 p.m. now so people uh, on the left side you see they're returning from the city center uh, there are quite a lot of cars whereas in our direction it's less crowded on the road so this is Beijing as of today, uh, May 5th, I think it is, and um, it's, yeah, judge for yourself if that's the hardcore lockdown uh, that you've expected. Here you see the street sign if you want to verify that we are indeed in the Chaoyang district of Beijing. Lockdown in China is like nowhere else on earth. Here you see a man getting swabbed for a COVID test through the fence. Using a megaphone, healthcare workers call for others to get tested. The country's zero COVID strategy, turning millions into virtual prisoners across the nation. What you just saw is how CNN wants you to believe China is at the moment. And this is the same day. <laughs> 